Finally comes a time where you can express your emotions with the music. And this brings you such a pleasure. Once Ortiz is hurried up and done this. Wow. Yeah, all right. I'm learning in here, you know. I didn't come in here to figure something. I came to learn. You see how quickly he turned on me? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> more work, less talking, yeah? Oh, oh, oh. So you come try to take the whole show. You're the one that's asking the question. Unbelievable. Are they looking for another presenter on the game? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Ortis. Yes. Thank you for coming today. My pleasure. May I compliment you on your big pan? <laughs> That's what all the girls say. <laughs> then I'm one of the girls. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's leave that story. You get in trouble. Yeah. How's things? Yeah, 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 good, good. I'm in a really good place. Things are going really well. Mm -hmm. Home life is good too. Uh, I'm a dad. Ten and a half months. So yeah, she's brilliant. And work is too, so I can't complain. Okay, so as you just go on this side. Yes. You've got some parmesan cheese there. Yes. Cut you a bit off. So what we're going to do, we're making a, a soulful Caesar salad. Because you know we've got so much Caesar salad in the Caribbean. Caesar salad. I love, 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 love Caesar salad. So what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to get you to grate some bits and bobs. Mm -hmm. We're going to make Caesar dressing. We've got cotton de boeuf here. Get a four bone four rib. Yes. And we've just taken one bone off, two bones off. Yeah. That's and a that's really it. nice... A pair it's, of meat slabs there. It's my, they're not meat slabs. Sorry. Yeah. No, seriously, it's my, it's my favourite cup of beef. Yeah. People love beef, but yep. I think they're a bit scared of cooking beef. Okay. This is what I'd normally eat on my own. Um, you it's not much. No, one of... it's not much. Really, it's not much meat at all. Bro, no, how seriously. are you telling me that this isn't much meat? It isn't. It's okay. a little bit, it's a little bit of meat. All right. Now you, you sprinkle, so what I've done, is so what the I've rub? Got, uh, hibiscus salt, yep. uh, hibiscus sea sauce. It's got like the sorrel plant with um, sea salt that's made up at Spice Mountain. We have pimento seeds, pink peppercorns, and dried chili flakes in there as well. So it's, it's like a base flavor that I have. Why yeah, are yeah, we yeah. grating instead of slicing? Because on a Caesar salad, it's normally sliced, so right? yeah. It's, so, so, chef, is your name Gordon? Yeah. <laughs> so hey, I love eating the food. Okay, so I know. No, what, I know so, what it so is normally like. you put grated in and you garnish with sliced ah, if you choose okay. to. I'm gonna pop a few egg yolks in. A little bit of a vinegar. Now, I, this is how I like to make it. Please don't write in and say how hey, you make it. Yeah. What we're going to use, we're going to use a little bit of parmesan in the base, like so. And then we're going to use a little bit of water. And we're going to sort of like make a little sabayon. So the egg yolks will, it, it will make basically, it, it, it will emulsify and it should double in size. And when it gets to that stage, I'll start to add other bits and bobs. Okay, so we get there, whiz it up and get that going. Anyway, so I put the beef into the pan. Yep. Are you sealing it? So, like with everything, yeah. you have to seal the outside, seal the juices in, yep. then, then turn it down and then leave it to cook. What I tend to do, and what people don't do, is once I've got the sides done, I'll then turn it onto its back okay. and render the fat, which yep. is quite key to cooking. Don't add too much fat in the beginning yourself. Render the natural fat yep. that's on the meat, which will flavor the dish and baste it throughout cooking. Okay. Can I just ask, being a man of tech, yeah. is this doing what it's supposed to? Yep. It sounds like it's getting angry behind me. I'm, yep. I'm getting fearful. <laughs> right, what are we doing with the cheese? Cheese into this container, please. Right. Okay, and the, uh, the other reason, you know that we've got four um, zones on the tongue. Allegedly, yeah. yeah. but we've got five. And what? So we've got umami as well. Yeah. There's a zone on my tongue called umami. Savory receptor, so tomatoes, soy sauce, mushrooms. They're high in that sort of flavour. Ah. And allegedly, that's what they tell me. Okay. I don't know where they get all these new ideas from, but umami is the new one. Umami. Oops, garlic next. <laughs> great in the garlic. Garlic, garlic close grated, about three of them, please, chef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and mind your fingers, please. Yeah, I'm going, I'm actually trying to look around for something that might help. Yeah, be careful. How long is it uh, so that we've known each other? Because do you really want me to answer that question? We met in the late 90s, but it was after a channel I was working on launched. Right. There was a dating show 
where the dates would prepare a dish yeah. for each other. They'd have you to help them prepare this dish. Uh -huh. So that, I believe, was about 97, 98. So it's 20 years, bro. Uh, light. You don't remember, do you? No, I remember. I definitely remember the show, but I didn't think it was that long ago. Is that enough garlic? Yeah, plenty. Sure? Because there's still some... Okay then, Chef, give me some more then. It's just don't use your fingers, yeah? I don't want to see in the gadget show on, in the uh, bandages. <laughs> 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 I'll be really proud, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You keep grating away. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, yeah. Mmm. Smells lovely. Very, very simple. That's the base of our sauce, cooking away quite nicely. I've chopped some uh, marinated anchovies, which are almost uh, like pickled yep. uh, in, a, in a vinaigrette. These ones are in garlic. It's such a nice flavour in Caesar. Lots of people ask for it without anchovies on it, which I don't get. Okay. I think it works perfectly. And I think with the beef, it'd be a real great addition. So, beef sealed off, mm -hmm. and then just leave it to cook on its own, really. What's the purpose of resting beef after you've cooked it? So it's the, the steak. So inside the beef, all the juices are just running around it, like just like that, right. yeah? Just like that. And so all the juices, all the blood, it's all around the actual cut of meat. Yeah. And so once you leave it, all the juices calm down, come back into the meat and it just settles down. Okay. Whereas if you eat it straight away, it's gonna be just horrible and really tough. Okay. And then, you know when you get a steak and the, the, the plate is full of blood? Yeah. It's not been rested. Ah. It's not been rested and that's quite key but you rest your meat for at least 50, you know, if it's a big joint, 20 minutes. Okay. Piece of meat, at least 10 to 15 minutes, mm -hmm. leave it. Mm. I yeah. feel good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a little song there. <laughs> karaoke, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I've heard, no, about, I knew that I've heard about your karaoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this like making a custard or in that you don't want it to split? Yeah, but custard's hot, yeah? <laughs> So what, uh, the thing, people are always are so scared of mayonnaise. Yes. Caesar, I love, I love mayonnaise. <laughs> and so I use either a veg oil. Yes. Or a rapeseed oil. Okay. Olive oil is too strong. Or flaxseed oil. Flaxseed. And it's quite key, you know, free range, free range eggs, mm -hmm. quality oils. Oh wow. That's good. <laughs> Sex. That's all I can say. Unbelievable. Doesn't look like any sex I've ever had. <laughs> That's. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> uh, can I have a teaspoon, please? Of course. Wow. What can I say? Since it's ridiculous, cooking is ridiculous. I get so excited and I just can't hide it. Really, really amazing what you can achieve. Really nice. So the, the fat in the oils, fat in the cheese. <laughs> in fact, there's fat everywhere. <laughs> the fat in the oil, fat in the cheese, and then the anchovies just cut through that. Yeah. Which is like, wow. But it's amazing how I still, after all the years I've been cooking, I get so excited about the most ridiculous things. You know, no matter how basic they are. Yeah. It is just like, oh dear. Yeah, but why not? No, it's just it's just what it is. Yeah, I, you're I just I, I, about I, I'm passionate, and yeah. I just love. You know, really, really lucky to be able to cook every day. Yeah. And actually, still like what I do. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing. Right. So what we need now is some lettuce, big salad, garnish it up nicely, and everybody just dive in. Peel those down for me. And with the beef, just keep turning her. Mm. Get it nicely caramelised on the outside. Be nice and fluffy on the inside. Oh, How do you eat your steak? Medium rare. Then that's like what it's going to be. Yeah. Well, sort of. Probably no, less than that. Yeah, it's, it's quite a I big don't want to dictate for the, for it's, the taste. It's a big piece of rare. I'm sure all the ladies would like it medium rare, but don't you, ladies? See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like just, just give me food. Just bring me food. <laughs> yeah, prep those two. Yeah. So they're baby gems. Yep. Do you want to cut the root off? Yeah, then, of course then, I do. And then get rid of the outside leaves, yeah? Yeah. Unbelievable. So, apart from the gadget, gadget show, what else are you up to? Um, last year I started work on a show called Police Interceptors. Uh -huh. A bunch of constabularies around the country have 
given permission for certain cameras to have access. Uh -huh. So I've been riding along with the armed response units and the drug squads. Oh yeah. Um, just chasing down bad guys, taking drugs off the streets, kicking doors in and to you... like weed farms and whatnot. It's been when and you driving at 150 miles an hour. So when you so... take the drugs off the streets, what do you do with them? They get burned. Oh, okay. They get they, they get burned. No, 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 no
Massage the food. You're not going to massage I it. I love giving massages. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about that later. It's after yeah. the show, yeah? Oh, no. I don't see nothing wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, no. Oh, With done. a little light massage. Wow. Hey, you see? Uh, happily married, yeah? Yes. I need to speak to your missus about this. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we'll don't see you, how happy she is. Don't you dare. See how happy she is. <laughs>